Hey there, my name is Spoonie Bard, and I recently found a box full of Ninja Turtle toys I used to play with as a kid. So I wanted to invite you guys back in time to the late 80s, early 90s, and you can see what a young Spoonie used to play with. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the original batch. This is obviously Leonardo, um, because the blue coloring on it. But otherwise, I lost his uh, swords, and I lost his belt with an L on it. Okay, so next I've got Master Splinter. Um, obviously, he's missing his little kimono and his staff and any other weapons. Uh, there were two versions of this. The early one, um, it was too brown and it looked like a turd. Uh, I don't know if this is that one or the later one where they added more gray into it. Um, if you know, please leave a comment. Here I've got the original version of Shredder. Uh, unlike Splinter, I do have his little cloth cape for this one. The only thing that really I thought was weird about this particular figure is that he's completely shirtless, yet he still has, like, shoulder plates on. And here I've got the original basic version of Bebop, the Warthog. Uh, he was one of Shredder's henchmen, along with Rocksteady, the um, rhinoceros. I uh, don't know what his weapons were like. That's cool detail on the uh, patching on the jacket. Here I've got Casey Jones. As you can see, I've got... Um, two out of the, I think, three accessories he came with. The one I think I'm missing is a golf club. This is a broken-off baseball bat. So you can see here, he's meant to hold one of them. And then the other one acts as like, uh, sorry, the golf case acts as like an extra weapon holder. All right, so I've got Metalhead. This is the original one. Um, sans his right arm. I'll explain that in a sec. Uh, you can see I've got the backpack accessory. Has the little uh, radar thing looking for foot soldiers. And you got this little helicopter thing that comes off pretty easily. And he has this kind of... Let me rotate that. He's got this kind of uh, plastic section there where the idea is you shine a little light through that and his eyes will light up and glow. Um, missing the belt. Now, when it comes to the figures here, you might see I've got a couple that are missing limbs. The reason for this is all these characters use uh, ball joints at their uh, point of articulation. And uh, let me just show you what I mean. So you can see it's just a, play, a basic kind of ball, and the thing slides onto there. So as a kid, what I would do is I would mix and match arms and legs from different characters. There's also a ball joint in the uh, elbow. So anyways, what ended up happening is I probably took his arm off to put on another figure, or it's just loose in a box somewhere. Hopefully I can find that, restore him to his full glory. Yeah, uh, this is Usagi Yojimbo. He is the warrior samurai rabbit. Um, this is actually a, a property from another independent comic. Uh, I think the guy's name was Stan Sakai who created him. Um, anyways, I think he's been fully incorporated into the Turtles universe. Uh, I don't remember the details of him. I think he was on the animated show. Obviously, as you can see, I'm missing all his weapons, and there's a hole there. That's where the other sort of uh, shoulder plate would go. Okay, so here's the Leatherhead. He's the uh, Cajun alligator that was always after the turtles. He does have a moving jaw. Um, I've still got the belt for him. I don't know if you can see that. He's got a little turtle there. A little, I don't know if it's a crawfish or something. Some kind of sage. And he comes with a little uh, 
bear trap to catch the turtles in. Okay, so here is Super Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Use, the movie. Um, this is at the end when uh, Shredder gets exposed to mutagen and he just becomes the Super Shredder. Uh, you can see he doesn't really have a cape on this one. It's just kind of molded plastic. Uh, I think they only did that fabric stuff for the uh, Splinter and Shredder in the first line. They just want molded plastic for the rest. Um, so you can see one of the... Um, he had these kind of armor plating on his shins too. One of them broke off. The peg's still in there. And the other one is just the hole, so that one just fell off somewhere. This is Napoleon Bonafrog. Uh, on the show, the turtles had some mutated frog allies. This is one of them. As you can see, he's supposed to be kind of a hippie. He's got the peace symbol. He's got, like, uh, surfer shorts on, sandals. Um, he's some kind of, like, horn horned toad because he's got the ridges, the spikes all over his body. This guy here is called Ray Filet. He's a manta ray. Now, the thing about this one is that he was supposed to have a color-changing chest when you exposed him to water. Now, as you can see, it uh, looks like a lot of the paint has uh, flecked off here. But I'm going to try this for you guys now on camera. Not really. It looks like it just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. So I guess the color-changing properties of that paint job I've done. Okay, so this one is called Ace Duck. He was the, uh, obviously, as you can tell by his uh, outfit here, he's the pilot duck that helped the turtles. On the cartoon, I think he piloted their Zeppelin. You can see he's got the little turtle, turtles logo on the back there. He does have slightly different articulation than some of the others. It's a different type of joint in there, as you can kind of see. And again, no accessories. This guy is really cool. This is Slash, the evil turtle from Dimension X, where Krang is from. So you can see I've still got one of his weapons, the the jagged sai. Um, he does have his like little claws on. Again, peg, peg. So he had some kind of shoulder um, shoulder spikes, but they just uh, are not present right now. He does have a tail, unlike the uh, rest of the turtles. I I just think it's such a cool visual, and I like that there's like an evil ninja turtle out there. All right, so this is Triceraton. He's one of the um, the villains also from Dimension X. Whoops. Okay, so well, you just witnessed me break this thing. It could probably be fixed. Um, you can see I still got one of his weapons, his big ass gun. And uh, I just love that he's like a dinosaur. Uh, at the time, if you took Ninja Turtles and dinosaurs, that was probably two of my favorite things. And keeping on the theme of Dimension X, this is Zack the Neutrino. He was also in the cartoon series. Uh, as you can see here, I've got most of his accessories. I've got the hoverboard. I've got his laser cannon. Now, the laser cannon was supposed to attach to a backpack that would slot into his back. So, short term, I'm just going to plug that. So the laser gun comes out of his back. This guy's called Scumbug. He was a pest exterminator that got exposed to mutagen on the job and obviously turned into a cockroach. Sculpting's kind of cool on here. You can see there's like little roaches and stuff that are modeled into the plastic. He's got the um, the carapace or whatever those wings are called. Now you can see there are holes in the chest and one in the back. He's supposed to have like the exterminator gas tank and the cables are supposed to go right into him. His jaw does move a little bit, but I don't remember what the point of that was for. This awesome looking guy is called Worm. He's actually a leech. Um, first of all, I got his little sledgehammer that's covered in gross things. And his belt, which is covered in leeches. 
So you can see one one leg is um, got that kind of leech, the suction things. Uh, again, missing the right hand. That's probably on another figure I can't find. And his head also opens and closes. What does it say? Unsanitation department. I like that they've uh, molded like a little leech there under his uh, torn shirt. So this one's called Punker Don. He's dressed in a late 80s punk style. Uh, as you can see, the leather jacket ripped up. He's got the chain around his hand. Um, surprised he doesn't have the padlock there. Obviously, the mohawk with the bandana. This is actually the original Michelangelo. Uh, you can see Sans' head. Uh, don't know if we'll ever find it or not, but still a cool figure. Okay, so this guy was Mutagen Man. Um, it's basically just a set of organs in a tank. You can see one of the eyes there. The other one's kind of off at the side. There's a brain, nervous system, lungs, digestive... Um, I think he was just like a jar of organs that got exposed to the mutagen. Um, now normally, he does have some kind of purple harness around him. Obviously, that's gone. Um, there was a little cap here, but what you could do is you could fill that with liquid. That's actually probably why the plastic looks so cloudy now, because in the past I would have filled it and, um, just wouldn't have cleaned it properly. So maybe... Some diluted rubbing alcohol will get this thing to shine up again, as long as it doesn't damage it. Here we've got Leonardo the Sewer Samurai. Uh, I know it looks like it might be a figure from the third TMNT uh, live-action movie, where they go back in time to feudal Japan. But this was just part of a, a normal line of stuff. Now, again, I want to call out the attention to the detail in the sculpt here. Like, the, t the texture of the armor that he's wearing. Um, the fact that he's got these plates. They're removable. The chest armor. The headpiece. Like, it's, it's not just they put something on the head. I think this is a unique sculpt. Okay, this is Raph, the space cadet. Um, obviously, you can tell his outer space turtle. I think there was a little domed helmet for him. Um, obviously have misplaced. You can see a peg there, so there probably was like a line leading to an oxygen tank. Anyways, I love the sculpt on this. First of all, you can you can see the texture of the baggy spacesuit. Um, you've got a little thing there that shows his ooze level, oxygen, and all that other stuff. Um, but just the sculpt, like the fact that, uh, here, let me turn it over on the shoulder. He's got some kind of gear. On the back, you've got the jetpack. You've got the little alien kind of clinging to him. And just the way that the material's like stretched out over his shell. This one is called uh, Sewer Surfing Mike or something. Um, it looks cheesy as hell. I do have the belt still for him. There was uh, some kind of eco symbol on his chest which you can see has since peeled off um this is another one that despite how stupid it looks i actually love the sculpting on this so let's take a look uh first of all on the flipper there you can see he's got a little octopus coming for a ride he's got a little crab there you can see some barnacles growing got a little bit of kelp or seaweed there turn it around you can see there's an eel slithering around him he does have a watch uh, there's a little shark thing that's kind of swimming in his bandana. Um, more seaweed and stuff there. It looks like he got some barnacles growing. There's another little shark, more seaweed, more crab. Little starfish at the bottom of his shell. And uh, I don't know if you can actually see that stuff, but it's like he's got little cans of like soda and sports drink. So yeah, this is Sewer Cycling Raft. So you can see he's all ready for a big race. He's got his bike clock on. He's got his headphones. He's got a water bottle. It's important to stay hydrated. You could actually fill this with water and it could shoot out like two inches or something like that. And he comes with a, I guess this is how they do it in the pros, a unicycle with a little tire pump thing. Um, 
There are little, like, uh, stirrup things for his feet, but it is a pain in the butt to get them in there, and he doesn't really stand well with them. Here I've got Leonardo. Um, I want to call out, first of all, that the belt doesn't open. It's a solid piece of, like, rubbery plastic, as opposed to belts in the, the past. You could actually, like, undo them. Um, so you can see I've got his swords here, which is cool. It's nice to have the weapons. However, this one had the secret arsenal in it. Some, they put out a line where, as you can see, and you could stash more weapons inside. Now, I've lost all of those except the little ninja stars here. This is Murdude, and as his name implies, he is a mermaid dude. Um... I don't recall seeing him on the show. I don't know if he was in the Archie comic series. He's just a cool looking figurine. Not a lot of posability. He can bend at the waist. And you can kind of position the way he's standing. Here I've got the talking Michelangelo. Now you can see he's got this stupid city sewer thing on his back. What actually, how this worked is you can see there's a hole there, one on the other side. Uh, these talking things would come with these, like, red plastic strands. Um, and you'd thread it through, and you'd pull it really quickly, and it would produce um, one of, like, two or three pre-recorded dialogue. And uh, I think they just did the four turtles, and each had their own... We have ways of making you talk! Oh, Shredder's right! Because with the talking turtle, all you have to do is just pull the sound strip and... <laughs> hey, dude, that's my line! Well, how about... <laughs> Sounds good to me. Each of the talking turtles come with two of their own talking clip strips. Plus, you can get more strips separately. So when Shredder talks tough, the turtles always get the last word. Now we're talking. From Playmates. This guy's name is Tattoo. He's a sumo wrestler, obviously, from Japan with his dragon staff. Um... This guy's thing was he had unique tattoos on him, and they could sort of come alive. Uh, now, the tattoos were stickers, which obviously in the decades since this has been opened uh, have fallen off. You can kind of see some of the residue there on the back. Um, I always thought the, the look and concept of this character was pretty cool, and I actually do have the Archie comic book where he sort of makes his premiere. As you can see, he's got the tattoos on. He's got the mom, the lightning flash, and so all of those could be activated as powers. These three figures are from the Wacky Action Turtles line. They all had a wind-up gimmick. It's the new Wacky Action Wind-Up Turtles! Who you calling Wacky? How about Great Fighting Raphael, who spins to attack with foot stars and Ratola? That's not Wacky. Well, what about Sewer Swimming Donatello, who gets into the swim with Spear and Scuba Jet? Or Rock and Roll Michelangelo with spinning action arm and weapons? Well, now we're talking Wacky! No, we're talking trouble! Because here comes the Foot Clan's mouser, stomping and chopping! Why don't this... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! From Playmates! Um, Raph was supposed to break dance. Unfortunately, the part that makes that possible is no longer here, but they all have the little wind-up boxes on the side. Um, Michelangelo, I actually have the little weapon he's supposed to... Oh! I have a little weapon he's supposed to use. And his wrist is supposed to spin quickly... <clears throat> Okay, so, yeah, his his wrist doesn't spin fast enough to hold the weapon. Now, if you can see here, the weapon is um, a fork, a pizza cutter, I don't know, some kind of cleaver, and uh, I think it broke off. I think this is like a pitchfork. Anyways, it's supposed to spin in his hand and become like a bladed shield or something. And the Leonardo one is supposed to have sword swing in action. I'm 
So you can see after, what, 30 something years, these still kind of work. It's too bad I don't have the uh, back part of the Raphael because I'd love to see him break dance. So here I've got Mike, Raph, and Leo. And this is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations. Once upon a time in the sewer, there were four cute little turtles. Who suddenly went through this incredible mutation process and became the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! <laughs> and then there was a sweet, charming rock musician. Who goes out of control, changes and mutates into Bebop! Oh my my! Look! They've decided to play together. And of course, they all live happily ever after. Now they lose. And playmates. Um, they can actually change from a baby turtle into a ninja turtle. So I'm going to try to quickly show you on Leonardo here. So the first thing you got to do is you got to pop open the shell. Now inside you can see there's some weird legs. You got to pull those out. Those are your baby turtle legs and the head. So you can see this thing slides up. This is stiff because it hasn't been used in a while. And you rotate it around so that the Ninja Turtle head goes in. And you pop it down. Now there's your baby turtle head. Now these arms, they're too muscular for a normal turtle, right? So, oops. They fold in somehow. And there we have it. You can see it took some work because I haven't actually transformed this in a while. But uh, his, his legs become his sort of front legs. And then he's got these little baby turtle legs at the back. Oh, and uh, I forgot the last detail. He's got the little tail as the baby turtle. And this is probably my favorite figure, which is why I've saved it for the last one. Uh, this is Muckman. I'm missing his little companion, Joe Eyeball, who rides in his back. Um... So, so many reasons I love this one. First of all, the little banana there it covers a hole where you can put that. Uh, they used to sell the ooze. You can put that in there, and it'll seep out through his face. So that's pretty cool. Second of all, the fact that it is a banana. This guy is just completely made out of garbage. is a mutant pile of garbage. So you can see he's got a clothespin on his nose because he can't even tolerate his own smell. Um... Look at the sculpting on this. Got old food. Got some bugs there. Look at this leg. It's a manhole cover with some slop, an old bottle. Lots of bugs, lots of frogs on this thing. Mushrooms and all kinds of fungus and rot. It's just for, for a mass-produced kid's toy... I think the sculpting on this figure is just amazing. This one here is called the Uzi. Um, I'm missing the top half. It's supposed to have a fake pizza facade. I think, uh, what was it, Home of the Nice Slice, Foot Clan Pizza. Um, anyways, the idea is the turtles place in order. This thing holds a bucket of that ooze. So when you hit the cannon... It, the ooze goes into this thing, pops open, and it sprays the turtles. You can see there's a Foot Clan symbol there. And then on the other side, if I had that piece, you'd see, like, the Shredder or something. So, as you can see, there's some basic garbage molded into there. I try to put the stickers on. And then the other side is cute. Wash hands after use, because this is, like, a fake uh, business here. And then the dials, and you can see there's a... Sticker for the use at the bottom. Okay, this bad boy is called the Sewer Setzer Cannon. Big dripper. 
Uh, so the whole idea with this is, it's you can see it's a cheap little thing. Um, but this cannon, it's since been severed. But there was one of those little uh, things there that you can pump, so you can actually use this to shoot water. Psh, psh. And those aren't reservoirs or anything, they're just to look cool. So I did have PandaCon at some point. I don't know where the figure is, but here's proof that I at least had the packaging. And finally, getting into the miscellaneous accessories. Some of these, I can't figure out who they're from. Some of them, um, in the case of this one, this is from the worm guy, but he's missing a hand. So he's got one that can hold the hammer, but he can't hold his dagger. And I don't know if you can tell there's like leeches or something. This staff with the, with the flags and stuff, um, Pretty sure this is from PandaCon. It's a gray belt here, the original style, with the little peg thing. And as you can see, it does have rats on here. And I'm trying to remember, did I have the Rat King? I think I did, but who knows. Um, it's a gun for somebody, I gotta figure out who. Uh, Trident staff, little gun. Uh, this is dangerous sewer gas. I'm not sure who that's for. There's another shield city sewer. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my nostalgia trip. I hope you guys saw some cool stuff here. Uh, let me know what your favorite Turtles character was or is, regardless of whether he's included here or not. And otherwise, I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.